What's up, YouTube? You have just tuned in. Man, I'm in Arcata, California. That's Northern California, right above San Francisco. The problem is that I didn't book a, a rental, a car rental, and there's no freaking Ubers up here. And I'm on this dirt road. There's the airport right over there. But I'm on this dirt road following my maps it's telling me it's going to take four hours to get into Eureka. <laughs> so I guess we'll see how that goes. The upside is it's kind of beautiful. It's almost like a hike. So I guess uh, I better uh, get to it. Oh, wait a minute. There's an Uber available. It's $27 though. Oh, I think that's it. That's the Highlander right there. <sighs> How you doing? How's it going, man? Say what? It's getting one more ride before we leave for Sacramento. Sacramento. Yeah, that dude didn't really have much conversation for me, but he did tell me that people don't really do Uber up here. He also told me how to get into Eureka using the bus, and he even dropped me off at the bus station. I bought a forever pass for like 20 bucks. That's what the bus driver said anyway. I can use it whenever. I got dropped off right in the center of town and my hotel is just a couple blocks up. There it is. The Eureka Inn. Look at this thing. It looks haunted. The Eureka Inn was built in 1922, which is around the same time that the Redwood Forest Highway was built that connects San Francisco to Oregon pretty high-end and luxurious first time and a lot of u.s presidents and even royalty stayed here the halls are lined with portraits of famous and rich people that stayed here in the past there's a lounge and a ballroom i could almost imagine mr grady serving avocado at the fish and goose soiree and a building this old almost always has ghost stories and the eureka inn is no exception yeah this place is a trip oh wow what the heck <laughs> look at the phone oh they made they made that on purpose it's, it's got a theme to it that's digital so i got a pretty good deal through expedia i mean it's kind of a cool place it's got a little bit of charm to it right it's old she told me it was about 100 years old so that's kind of cool hopefully it's not haunted but i'm gonna clean up a little bit and then uh let's go get some beer or something so eureka was founded in the 1850s this city's about four hours up from San Francisco. It's a little seaport town, but what's really cool about it is that a lot of the buildings are still authentic from the 1800s. It's just a quaint little uh, seaside town. You know, I don't know much about this brewery. The only thing I know is that it's the only one in town. I'll probably go in there, have one beer, and then uh, continue. Can I just sit on the bar? Thank you. It's how about how about uh, we just recommend something as long as it's not wheat? <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, that looks nice. What is this? Uh, Abraham wheat. Okay. Like that wheat and then downtown brown. Okay. All right. I'll give it a minute. Thank you. <laughs> no, I'm good. I think I'm gonna get going. All right. But Eureka is also known for its world-class oysters. The quality of the oysters are unmatched, and it really has to do with the bay that Eureka sits on. You see, the bay has a very narrow inlet from the ocean. On top of that, there's thousands of acres of untouched, pristine red forest land, with rivers that flow the purest water that empty into the bay. This area also has a very small population, which makes the bay super clean and the perfect environment for world-class oysters. There's a place in town called Humboldt Bay Provisions, and this is the spot.
Eureka's also got a night market. And this market's open every Friday from five to eight, I think, during the summer day uh, months. But we're about to go check this out, see what this is about. This is Old Town Eureka, by the way. It's one of the oldest uh, sections of the city. So there should be some really nice architecture. That's a pretty cool keyboard he got there. It's an old one. This is yeah. Say good night to him. Good this night. This is his last, his last show. Oh no. Yeah, this is this is about twenty years old. Yeah, and, it looks and pretty cool. Have you ever cool. heard of a Hammond? I have. Hammond B three. I have. <laughs> From LA, uh, we don't have oysters don't like this in LA. Yeah, these just came out of the water today. Man, I couldn't help myself. These were barbecued oysters. I had to get them. Fucking bomb. That's butter. Something spicy, a vinaigrette. Mmm. There's plenty to see at the market. A lot of local vendors selling handcrafted things. And there's also a lot of live music. So only about a block away from the whole uh, farmer's market or night market situation, there's this great pier. Hardly anyone's over here. It's beautiful though. Yeah. This is it. And you know, your boy is buzzed. I'm not 100% inebriated, you feel me? But uh, I'm feeling a pretty strong buzz right now. And uh, I'm really enjoying this. They got a church with church bells and everything. The Masonic Temple. The Illuminati, no, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing, I don't know anything about that. Well, that's about it. Eureka, California, beautiful place. A quaint little town, quiet in some ways. Lots of activities on Friday and Saturday mornings. So if you're planning to travel up here, one piece of advice that I can give you is to book your car ahead of time. There's no Ubers up here and it seems like they ran out of cars pretty quickly, so there may not be that many rentals up here either. But if you can do that, you'll be able to explore a lot more than I can. Some of the locals told me there's a beach called Trinidad that's super beautiful. And if I had a car, I would have been able to go, but 
It's 11 o'clock. Uh, my flight leaves at 3. I'm going to grab something to eat really quick at Lost Coast and then uh, hop on a taxi and get my ass to the airport. But I want to thank you so much for everyone that's uh, subscribed in the last few months. I, I went from 99 to 700. So I, I know a lot where a lot of you came from. <laughs> so I appreciate you. Thing is gigantic. Woo. I mean, I honestly don't even know how to eat this. Oh, cutter. All right, so it looks like there's bacon in there. There's a hash brown. The meat, though, the meat's crazy. Elk, elk is like beef. You know that part in a T-bone steak, the soft-sided. T-bone steak, that's what it tastes like. 